go. In this segment, we are showing the springs halfway tied in order to catch the elevations, the importance of catching the elevations uh, being on a horizontal plane. Uh, calculated into this spring tie is the amount of tension in the spring, how much the spring will flex as it's being compressed, and what its elevation will be once the it's no longer compressed. As you can see, the springs are quite malleable. They're copper alloys from the 19th century. Today we have steel springs and they're much more um, firm. They don't, they don't really move in the way that these, these alloy springs would move. And um, what you're seeing here is not the complete tie, but at least the establishment of the horizontal plane and the positions of the springs relative to the deck spatially. So as you move back just a bit, we'll be able to deploy the, um, the seat and you can see the orbit of the spring where it attaches to the webbed deck. In one of the earlier installments we showed you the attachment of the springs in four positions with all twine. And after putting the springs into tension, I found that the, that the springs wanted to stretch the all twine and move in position. And so I came back and I used a double tie in the eight positions. So at the diagonal positions, I placed a double tie. And when we turn this over, you'll actually be able to see the configuration of the geometry of the ties. You can see north, the top, moving down to 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4, 6, and so on. And so these springs will not move off of the deck now. They cannot slip. Okay, so shall we go ahead and deploy it completely to where you can see the, the full extension of the piece?